Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Lay reading for the Sagittarian Sun, Moon, and Rising. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is, um, please remember to subscribe and please like and share these videos. I want to say to all the Sagittarians out there and to all the people in Ireland and Scotland, um, I'm so grateful. Thank you so, so much. And again, thanks to um, that Sagittarian person who uh, let me know two weeks ago that there was something that the film wasn't properly uploaded. Um, thank you so much. Um, it is so busy I, I, and I can't, um, my life is so full, but yet still I have to do these readings. So I want to say thank you to that person. Sometimes it really goes away and I'm trying to do something different. So um, this is an extra thing to show the cards, but I think it's wonderful to show the cards because it's very important because sometimes people can pick up message for themselves out of the cards. Okay. This um, is the second week of December 2017 and the week begins from the 11th until um, the 17th. Um, there are two major arcana in the weekend. There is this weekend is going to be a powerful weekend for you Sagittarius because a lot of information is going to come out on Sunday because on Saturday you are going to go within and find the true um, um, you're going to go within and find the true inner light of who you are. You're, um, the energy of the hermit is going to come on Saturday and it's going to lighten up your way. Okay, so always, you know, the weekend is going to be an emotional weekend. It can be good for some people. It can be um, not so good for some people, but it's just that you need to know something. So information is going to come to you in the weekend. Okay. Um, let's see what else we have here um we have we begin week with water energy and it is that you're finding your true inner light okay because you have um the energy of uh, um the angman in the reverse form which is extremely good that means you have taken rest and now you're finding your inner light on um, Tuesday, you have the energy of the Six of Pentacles. This is good. It's an earth energy, which is good. On Wednesday, also earth energy. Your week is uh, um, crowned with the energy of uh, um, money, the King of Pentacles. Balance is coming in your life. You have an emotional situation on Thursday. A lot of you fire signs are having emotional situation on Thursday. Friday is a positive, positive um, day because uh, you have the four of wands. It's going to be a celebration. You're going to be going out. You're going to be connecting with people. The weekend is going to be the weekend of uh, um, going within and finding the truth about situation and things. And there is going to be a judgment call. And let's see what this is all about. What is the energy bringing you in this week? Okay. So the tower fell on Monday, which is good. Um, the energy of the devil is up. Um, we have the five, the seven of swords in reverse. So whatever that was stolen, um, you are going to receive it. Then we have the ace of swords. So this is, this is good on Thursday. So whatever. Then we have an opening. So for a lot of people, um, if you're looking for a new job, the possibility does happen on Friday that this is going to happen for you because um, you have Friday has to do with your business life. You're going to realize that on Friday, this possibility of a new job is going to be opening up for you. So this is going to be wonderful and positive. OK, so let's see what the weekend has for you guys. Let's see what we can have for the Sagittarians Saturday. We have the two of pentacles and on Sunday we have uh, the eye princess. Okay. So we are going to hack some question and this person keep on coming up for you fire sign. So um, most of you fire sign are working with because um, I'm seeing the energy because you guys have uh, for your focus in this week, the energy of the lovers, the energy of the lovers. Some of you could be connected to someone 
who is a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn okay so whatever and whoever this person is you guys are connected to this person and this is wonderful this is um, a situation where you both are going to be coming together to make something happen okay so this is really good um, the um, hurt sign people are really helping you fire sign people in this week and this week is the week of fire so this is wonderful and this is uh, this is really really good okay so let's go forward and see what else is happening because I need to ask some questions okay all right um on Monday you have and let me um, bring the camera down so you can see your read and there is something happening to this thing I keep on off to tighten it up okay so on Monday you have the energy of water you're a fire sign what has happening is that for a time you were in um, the reverse and this yeah because this is the reverse form okay it looks upright hold on um, this the Angman and what is happening here um, whatever that was blocking you the tower is now being removed whatever that has been transpired the tower is now being removed with this tower being removed you are going to find your true light It's as if some people sometimes find themselves not moving forward and this is because other people um, send negative energy or negative thoughts to them because um, we are not aware of how powerful our thoughts is and how people can just see us block us because we have achieved and we're um, moving forward and we have gone through so many things I cannot understand this situation but this is how the um, humans on this planet live is that they don't support each other they tend to want to break down other people instead of supporting once you send out a good thought for someone you receive that good thoughts back okay once you wish someone something good you always receive this thought back and whatever was happening the universe have realized that and this is it um, I always say to people um, it doesn't really matter what you think and how you do something is what you sent out this is always what you receive so most of the times people are being um, just being blocked by other people because other people don't have enough love in their heart to wish other people good okay whatever happened the universe came in and that block has been removed you have the energy of the devil here on Tuesday Tuesday is in the energy of um, another um, a hurt energy so you have water and you have hurt Tuesday there's a balance coming in you have the devil and the devil is as if he wants to block the you know the money the help that will be coming into you and we're going to look and see what what is it that this energy is trying to block is as if this energy and it's as if people there are people that is working against you that is trying to block a situation and uh, yeah now I see it giving and receiving of love and it's as if people are trying to block the connection between you and someone and I, I need to find out who is this person because it's as if um, this is as if some of you are feeling a block that um, you're trying to connect with someone but yet still there is a powerful block of negative energy and obviously um, for some men is as if the devil is blocking you from your financial goal from your materialistic world and actually the devil is supposed to be here helping you but um, because the devil is a fire sign let's see what is happening what is happening what is happening the king of cups okay I thought more or less and look at this some of you are connected because this is obviously this energy whenever I see this energy happening is is, is the energy of um, giving and receiving and this can be and this obviously um, is love and it's so happens that the energy of the the devil and then I ask who was that and the energy of the man comes up 
And what is happening here is that someone is having a connection with the King of Cups. Someone is having connection with the King of Cups. And the King of Cups is a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpion. And it's like people on your telephone, in your house, or blocking the connection between you and this person. This is sick and negative. And this is what I'm trying to say to people because I'm seeing this coming up in a lot of readings in this week. I mean, it takes a lot that you want to block someone from someone else. Who are you? And why do you think that you have the right to be do, getting involved in some in, in people relationships and between two people? This is obviously that there is someone that is working against you. There is someone that is creating chaos between you and a loved one in your life. And this uh, could come out because the energy of the man comes in and this is actually love. And it's as if this, this, this energy is blocking you two from being together, blocking you two from not wanting to be together. And this does happen, people. Sometimes you are not aware. Even your closest friends and your family can block you from a loved one in your life. And this is exactly what is happening. And go and, and look, ask the universe to remove these people, whoever they are and whatever it is, because the power of the universe, the power of the source can remove whatever is here happening, okay? As we move on, we have the energy of the knight, the king of pentacles. Hold on, let me see if it's a king. I think I... Yeah, it's, it's a Knight of Pentacles. The energy of the Knight of Pentacles came up twice. So a lot of you people have to deal with and to work with the energy of the Knight of Pentacles. This is a situation that is happening. But whatever that was stolen, this Knight of Pentacles have stolen something from you. And the Knight of Pentacles is someone between the ages of 25 and 45. And this person have... Um, and that is the earth energy. Let's see what this Knight of Pentacles have stolen from you. Because obviously they have stolen something or tried to get away with something. But it's not happening. Okay. Because this week is all about the lover. See, it's it's hate and jealousy. And um, the blocking. So whoever this Knight of Pentacles is, call upon the unit. But it's going to come to an end. It's going to come to an end. Okay. Whoever this Knight of Pentacles is that is blocking your life, call upon the universal angels and guides. Because you can see this. Uh, you know, uh, this Knight of Pentacles, this is a sick person. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, you know, I, I honestly think that some people um, got the choice to come here as an, a human. And yeah, we, we, we come up against these people as we go through life and this is quite sick because this is what i've been saying i've seen it coming up in a lot of people reading okay whoever this knight of pentacles is and i'm feeling is someone who's a virgo a virgo um and it, it's very sad because capricorn people is not like that um and Taurus people is not like that. The Virgos are, are a, a bit off. Virgo people are a bit off, especially the men. They're really um, a bit off because they're working with the psychic world. They're always, uh, you know, working on the psychic world. And whenever they're off, they're really, really off. I think they're um, so complex, Virgo men, that it is, uh, you know, the women are different because the women seems to balance themselves. But the Virgo men, whenever they decide to go after you, it's like they're sick. They're mentally, mentally sick. And I can't, I, all the Virgo men that I know, I think, oh my God, you really need help. That's what I always think, you know. And you can see whoever this Knight of Pentacles is, uh, he's really off. And it, it, it's sad because I cannot remember one sane Virgo man, Virgo man that I've ever met. I think, oh my God, you really, really need help. And I am an earth sign person and I would never, ever get involved with someone, uh, a Virgo. 
because they're really they're people that is really off psychic um, unbalance, you know, and um, because they work with a psychic world is is as if they're so devious from within, there is no help for them, and you know they have to. It's as if they have um, the situation where they want to always um, um, revenge. They have a revengeful thing. Um, I never get involved of or, or, or even close relationship with these Virgo men. I will talk to them because we're earth sign in the sense of having conversation uh, and, and talking. But whoever this person is, they're working with black magic. Um, they're sick. This can be someone. And this is what I'm getting for some people. This person is between the ages of 25 and 45. It's as if you have, um, um, you know, it's as if this person cared for you and you're like, no, I, you know, and you have seen this person, but yet still you thought you are very complex. Um, it's as if for some people you met this person and it didn't go well because of whatever reason. This person just have a revengeful thing. Um, by, you know, by you, whatever this revenge, this is all revenge, but it's coming to an end, not to worry about it. Okay. And yes, you can see this on, um, on Thursday, you have the eight of cups. A lot of you fire sign are having the eight of cups on Thursday. On Thursday, you're seeing that it comes to an end. Um, you're victorious. You have a victorious um, end. This nasty um, thing that was going on here because this was not good. Trust me. Do not have a situation with a Virgo man because he. They are so revengeful. They always think of uh, getting back at someone, and um, I can't understand because because this is this is an Earth sign person because whatever happened. You're leaving this behind. You're leaving this behind. You're you're thinking, you know, your yesterday news. Goodbye. I'm off. You know, and 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 that's the only way you can win this situation. Is just leave this nastiness behind and move on to something better. Because obviously, this guy is mentally sick. I'm I'm, I'm telling you, I am a hurt sign. And trust me, Virgo men. Mm -mm, no, give me the Tauruses. Okay, let's look at what is happening on Friday. Friday is good. It's a celebration. Some people are going to be um, celebrating a new job that you receive a new job. Some people will be going out to just celebrate with friends. It's the time for office party and that sort of a thing. This is good because this is a good portal opening up. That means um, new situations are going to be coming in your life, new connections, new people. You're going to be going out and feeling good about yourself and celebrating. So this is good. Um, this is a wonderful energy. There's no question needs to be asked about this. And here we are. I'm going to ask a question. On Saturday, we have the energy of the hermit and we have the two of pentacles. And let's see what else is coming up here for it. And I'm using both of these um, decks to find out questions because sometimes, okay, it's the knight of wands. The knights of one is always coming up and you have the ace of pentacles that is coming in okay so let's put that down here and let's see what else is happening because the knight of wands came up uh, that is a messenger so um saturday you have the energy of the hermit let's see what else is coming out on saturday it's about um you women you women you women okay let's let's see because I like using, and you know, my guides and angels always guide me to what cards I should use in a week. Okay, so let's see. We have the energy of the hermit. What? Who is the hermit, and what does it do? The hermit comes in whenever you're looking for inner guidance. Um, whenever you were trying to do the right thing in your life, whatever is not working and you're trying to figure it out. And it comes in with a two of pentacles. I love the energy of the two of pentacles because it's not always about money. It's a, always about your materialistic world and like your emotional world. 
once your emotional world is once your materialist world is good then your emotional world would just fall in balance there's a news that is coming up in this news it's coming up about the ace of Pentacles so for you women out there and for some men you could be um, getting a message that you have to pay your wife it's Christmas coming up and that sort of a thing and you're thinking about what way is better to do this okay it doesn't have to be a brown person it can be because this card has the energy of a brown person in it it has no um, other color person they're, they're all is the Egyptian card so whatever is happening um, for you women out there it's as if you're looking for the inner light and the truth towards what's to ever and where you should move forward to and what you should do and how are you going to develop your materialistic world but you know um, as you go with it you will receive the message because the page of ones is coming to bring you the message about how to deal with your financial situation I hope you can see it because there's um, a little bit of light on that okay so that is good let's move on to Saturday because you're reading this <laughs> actually so long okay the eye princess is here you have judgment in the eye princess what is going on what is it the eye princess because the eye princess is here she has been coming up in a lot of readings this week uh, the ten of pentacles okay so that one is good I don't even I have to use these small ones but I, I, I just love asking questions I'm intrigued okay now I'm on now it, it, it's, it's it's happening because whatever is happening okay so let's take a look and see you have the energy of judgment okay this is the energy of judgment energy of judgment is always information coming to you and this information that is coming to you is coming from your inner guides and intuition and the angels okay because this is this is what is happening for you now as we move forward and we look closer what it is all about it's all about the ten of Pentacles so um, you you know it's as if you're in a guides and angels are saying to you you know there is money to be made it has to do with a house so some of you and financial support but whatever is happening it's gonna be good money coming to you because there is a judgment call and whatever that was taken stolen away from you and this happened through someone who is the knight of a Pentacles a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and I'm, I'm just feeling this energy vibration reading is of the Virgos whatever that was stolen for you whatever money and the house that was stolen from you will be returned because there are people that is going to connect to you because let me put this up because you have the ten of pentacles look you have judgment you have the eye princess with your intuition and guidance they're guiding you and telling you that there is money there is money in a house or there's money that is connected to a house or there is something a debt that happened and there is money that is supposed to be received from a house and somebody here is going to help you a good friend is going to come in and help you okay so this is actually good because it's not as if it's not turned in the opposite way it's as if um, your angels and guides your intuition your guided angels are saying to you you know there um, someone has left you an inheritance and um, that inheritance is going to come to you and you need to you know ask how and how are you going to receive this okay I don't know you Sagittarians you and the Capricorns can have these very very long readings the energy that I have we have the energy of strength you're going to have to need you're going to have to go within and find strength in this week you Sagittarians this is a good energy because it's going to support you you are going to feel the strength to move on because this is positive because whenever the energy of strength and it has the energy of the infinity because you Sagittarians are the luckiest people on this planet and the energy of the infinity the number eight energy is here you have eight twice so there is a lot um, your energy vibration is number 88 and you know with with this um, energy of you know your, your financial abundancy will be there you know just ask for help 
strength and endurance. This week is going to be a, a, a week of inner strength and endurance. You can go the distance and know that everything occur in divine appropriate timing. You have the courage as you manifest your miracles. When you allow spirit to work through you, you are strong enough to move mountains and overcome any obstacles inside and outside. So isn't this wonderful? This is so beautiful. I am so, um, I love these cards. I think I'm going to um, use them for the thing there. So let's move forward and see whatever questions you have, you Sagittarius. Let's see what is the answer wait 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 peaceful resolution just wait there is going to come a peaceful resolution okay sometimes because i do ask my my angel um um questions and sometimes they say to wait and sometimes okay when the energy of weight comes up is when um, you got to, uh, you are looking for a new job and you got this job, but it's not really what you wanted. It's not really what you wanted. And then you receive weight, you know, and you're wondering, yeah, why wait? I need to have a job. And your situation is going to require a little patient. Your angels are not saying no, but they're not saying yes. Sometimes heaven needs a little extra time to make all the pieces fall perfectly into place. What you're asking for may have an effect on other people's lives. So what that um, and it occurs, it can be an additional preparation to make sure that everyone needs are being seen and met. Be patient so that all who are involved can have the experience they were meant to be. And you know, this is um, a situation with the wait. Um, you know, sometimes it's best to wait. And the next one, the peaceful resolution, and I love the peaceful resolution, you know, whatever the challenge is. The peaceful resolution is the challenge you're inquiring about are going to come to an end. Conflicts will, um, um, will cease and soon be replaced with harmony there will be a sense of peace shared by all even if some only agree to disagree so most of the time whenever there are conflicts uh, it's going to come to an end but it takes time because whenever there is a situation what is happening is that you are dealing with so many people and sometimes people only agree to disagree Disagreements will be resolved in your favor. This includes struggles with employers, legal battle, um, arbitral, and um, even strife amongst family and friends. Be forgiven and understand with, with those who may have been in error. Allow peace to come within grace and dignity for everyone and this is it and you know this planet you know sometimes i wish because trust me i've been through so many karmatic situations and i've always asked why is this going through and i ha i actually don't create karma i help people clear up their karma so I will just stand in some place and trust me, somebody will just run over my foot and then, you know, it's that sort of a thing. But it's, it's, when you know where you're on this planet and when you know what it is you're here to do, um, you will, you know, really, really understand how things work and don't take things personally because trust me, I used to take things very personally. I, I used to wonder why why is it that you know i can just move in some place and then all of a sudden things start to happen and i'm thinking but i don't know you people and and, and then i remember yeah you're here to help them clear their karma because um it's another video ladies and gentlemen um money yes money always shows up in your reading you have two of pentacles the ace of pentacles and the ten of pentacles whoever you are and 
um, whatever happened there's a house that you need to um, you know it's as if someone has taken that house from you and you will um, receive the house back or money from that house that was not paid out to you or money that was um, somebody left you and wasn't it's going to come in whatever the situation is wait it's going to be resolved for whatever is going on because I'm, I'm telling you um, I'm just really happy when this year is over my birthday is here and I can start something new because this year was but anyway I'll see you guys namaste